rules of the charger. Yep. Okay, so the, the, the rules of the charger, we try and keep them as, as simple and as minimal as possible. Um, one of the beauties about the Rhino Charger is that it is an, basically an unrestricted or a free event to uh, as many purposes as possible. Um, the object is that there are 13 checkpoints distributed in trackless terrain and the vehicles have to visit all the checkpoints. Now, all, the vehicle that visits all the checkpoints in the time limit of 10 hours is the winner of the Rhino Charge. In the event that more than one vehicle complete, completes the uh, all visiting all 13 checkpoints, then the tie break goes to distance. Uh, so, and then after that, if it ever came to it, which it hasn't yet, if we had the same number of checkpoints, exactly the same distance, then time would become the tie break on that. But uh, as you can imagine, we've never never got to got to that. Um, there are a minimum of two people in a vehicle, maximum of six. We have unmodified and modified vehicles. Um, uh, weight limits on the vehicles, there's a three ton weight limit on competing vehicles. Uh, there's limits on number of winches for, for unmodified cars. Uh, we limit the number of entries to 65 and that's for dual purpose really. First of all, environmental, we, you know, we want to limit the amount of impact that the vehicles have on the venue and also just organizational you know 65 teams 100 meters each per camp that's six and a half kilometers of camping plus spectators so you know if you start getting much bigger then we start well, the environmental degradation would become a problem um, and also just the sheer logistics would become unmanageable um, other rules there's many little little rules in there uh, but generally we try and keep it as, as free and open as possible, that's the idea, that's the ethos.